So it all started with two windows up really high in my living room. I thought I should find a way to automate these existing blinds so I can open and close them with my phone. Or even better, with Siri. Then I got to thinking I should automate all of the blinds in here. That would be cool. So I did, and today I wanna to share with you how I did it, what I used, and everything I learned in the process. Let's go. Sponsored by Paperlike. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane, if you're new here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit platform with new videos published every Sunday right here. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on those new HomeKit videos every week. Okay, so I have been really excited to show you this little project for a while. This is one of those smart home projects that like, I still, you know, kind of geek out about months after installing it. Every time I push that little button and all the blinds in my living room open up or when they all close automatically at sunset, I just kind of stand there and think, this is freaking awesome. And like I said, I'm gonna share with you what I'm currently using, the process and everything I learned and how I'm actually automating these things with HomeKit. I will put chapter titles down below as always in case you wanna skip around to any certain parts of this video. So if you've been following me long enough, you may remember a review video I did about a year ago on a product called the Soma Tilt. Well, that video still holds up. I will put a link to that below, but I've learned a few things since then and they've since updated the Soma Tilt. Also, it's now called the Soma Tilt 2. And that's what I ended up using to automate the existing blinds on all of these windows. So I gotta give a big thank you to Soma. They partnered with me on this project and kindly provided me with a bunch of newly updated Soma Tilt 2s, as well as a Soma Connect so I could connect them to HomeKit. Now the Soma Tilt is basically a way to automate your existing blinds. They say within just three minutes. They work by replacing your blinds controller rod or tilt wand as I call it. No screws, drills, or wires are needed. But wait, what if you have blinds that don't use a tilt wand? What if you have blinds that use a pull cord, you know? Actually, almost all of my existing blinds use a pull cord for tilting the blinds and I got them to all work with the Soma Tilt 2. We'll get back to that in a minute when we talk about the installation. First, let's discuss the product. Again, they are designed to replace that tilt wand for your Venetian style blinds. They do also sell the Soma Smart Shades 2, which is made to automate your existing roller shades. Now, one of my favorite things about both of these products is that they come with a solar panel. I mean, that right there alone is huge for me. Like I said in the beginning, what really started this whole thing was wanting you know, a way to automate those blinds that were way up high in my living room. I considered some other things, you know, like roller shades and stuff like that, but most all required batteries. By using a Soma Tilt with the solar panel, I never have to worry about getting out my ladder and getting way up there just to replace the batteries. Believe me, that is not what I wanna spend my weekend doing. So the Soma Tilt 2 is currently, at the time of this recording, on sale for $119 on their website, and that does include the solar panel. I will put affiliate links to everything down below. If you do decide to purchase anything using the links from any of my videos, it's always appreciated. You know, that gives us a small little commission that really helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. So inside the box, you get one Soma Tilt 2 unit, one solar panel, and one USB charging cable. And then we have the Soma Connect, which includes the hub itself, basically just a Raspberry Pi, a micro USB cord, and some plug adapters for different regions. More on the Soma Connect in a minute. But first I had to address the whole pull cord thing. Like I mentioned earlier, most of my blinds use that pull cord to tilt the blind. So before I did anything else, I needed to address this. After a little research, I found that it's actually quite easy to replace the tilt mechanism in your existing blinds. All you have to do is just replace the existing pull cord type with a rod type. So I ordered a bunch of wand type tilt mechanisms from a site called fixmyblinds.com. They were about seven bucks a piece. Just measure your blinds and make sure you get the right size you know, for your existing blinds. Once I received them, I simply replaced the old tilt mechanisms with the new ones. 
then they were ready to go and work with the Soma Tilt 2. Now, of course, if you already have blinds that with a tilt rod, you don't have to worry about any, any of that. That's just if you have blinds that tilt using the pull cords like I had. So the physical installation really couldn't be any easier. You probably could actually do it in three minutes. They give you multiple size tips that just slide over the hook that your wand usually connects to. Then you just use the 3M tape that's already on it and stick the motor to the wall. And that tape actually does a surprisingly good job at keeping the motor secure to the wall. Find a good place for the solar panel and you're done. So easily my biggest complaint from my review of the original Soma Tilt was that large motor that has to be mounted near the blind. So everything worked well, but this obviously would not be, you know, wife approved if I had these little things mounted all over my living room. So how did I hide the motor? Because the new version, you know, the Soma Tilt 2 does still have that big old motor. Well, credit where credit is due, thanks to Nico and a suggestion he gave me uh, last year actually over on Instagram, I simply reversed my blinds so the tilt rod hook was actually on the inside. Then I had enough room to mount the motor behind the blinds. Now, if you do this, keep in mind that you will need to use caution. You know, if you ever open up the window, it could prevent you from opening the window up all the way, depending on where you have to, you know, mount the motor. Also, you won't be able to easily open the blinds, you know, like vertically. So it can be done. It's just definitely more difficult with the blinds backwards. But now you can't see the motor at all when the blinds are closed and they're only barely noticeable when the blinds are open. This here is the only reason I could even consider using the Soma Tilt 2 for a project like this. And I'm very happy with the outcome. You know, we rarely open the windows or slide the blinds open vertically anyway, so this solution just happens to work well for us. Now, once they were installed, you just go through a simple pairing process through the Smart Shades app. They connect via Bluetooth, so you do need to be in Bluetooth range. Once they're successfully added, you go through a calibration process where it determines the closed up and closed down position. Now, I must say this was the most painful part of the whole process. Soma, if there's any way you can improve this calibration process, that would probably be a huge bonus. Basically, it just moved in such small increments that it took forever and God forbid if you messed up and something happens during that calibration process and you have to start over, whew, you just don't want that to happen. But once it's all done, you can then control your blinds in the app. Of course, you have to be home and within Bluetooth range to do this unless you're using the Soma Connect. So the Smart Shades app is pretty basic, not a whole lot to it, not really the best app, honestly. Uh, you can tilt your blinds open and close, create groups of blinds, which I've done. You can also set schedules and you can even create automations based on the time of day, sunrise or sunset, and even changes in light level. So there is like a little light sensor built in that you can utilize, but that light sensor isn't accessible in HomeKit, so it's not something that I've really used. The app has some pretty nice options, but I actually prefer to set up all my automations and stuff like that in HomeKit anyways. In fact, the goal for me really is just to use HomeKit for all the controls and automations and only use the Smart Shades app just to configure the devices. Okay, so before we bring these into HomeKit, let me take a quick second and tell you about today's sponsor, Paperlike. I am so excited to have these guys as a sponsor on the channel. Paperlike is a matte screen protector that makes using your Apple Pencil on the iPad feel like you're using real paper. If you know me, then you know I love drawing on my iPad and Paperlike truly makes a huge difference when drawing or just like taking notes and stuff on your iPad. I've been using one of these for years. I mean, it actually mimics the feel and sound of writing or drawing on paper, which just makes the Apple Pencil so much more enjoyable. I actually just upgraded to the new iPad Pro and literally one of the first things I did was put one of these paper-like screen protectors on my new iPad Pro. Honestly, I could go on and on about these, but I will spare you. Instead, just check out the link in the description below to order yourself one. Each order includes two paper-like covers. They ship free worldwide with 100% satisfaction guarantee. Seriously, you gotta try these out if you like using the Apple Pencil on your iPad. Thank you, Paperlike, for sponsoring today's video. 
Now, let's get our blinds working in HomeKit. Again, for this, you will need the Soma Connect Hub, which is sold separately. This will allow you to connect the Soma Tilt to Alexa, Google Assistant, or HomeKit. Now, one thing about the HomeKit integration that is a bit odd, and actually one of the things I did point out in my first video on the Soma Tilt, is that this hub is not officially HomeKit certified. So, what does that mean? Well, for one, the box and the website does say that it'll work with HomeKit, and it does. I mean, I've been using mine with HomeKit every day for months now, but they haven't gotten that official HomeKit certification by Apple still. So that means you'll get this little message saying this accessory is not certified and may not work reliably with HomeKit. And that's why you won't see that little works with HomeKit logo on the box or their website. So. You know, I do wish they were a little more clear and upfront about this on the website and stuff, but you know, is what it is, now you know. Essentially, this hub is just a Raspberry Pi, so I was actually assuming it was using some form of Homebridge or something similar, but actually I got a statement from Soma regarding all of this um, that I'll share with you now. So they said the Soma Connect is not based on Homebridge at all, it's a fully custom Node.js application and they do not recommend using Homebridge instead of the Connect as they can't provide support. Plus they said it's slower and less stable. They do however provide the Connect firmware for free as a Raspberry Pi SD card image on their website for anyone. You know, if you already have a Raspberry Pi and maybe you'd like to basically build your own, you can download that image and kind of make your own connect with your own Raspberry Pi. So that is an option. They also said that HomeKit can't be certified on commodity hardware like the Raspberry Pi, which is why they haven't been able to get the certification, but they do have a new hardware version of the Connect in development and their plan is to definitely get Apple certified. It'll just take some time. So that's what they said. Now you know everything I know. Moving on, the Soma Connect can connect to your network via ethernet or Wi-Fi, which is nice. Of course, the hub will need to be within Bluetooth range of your blinds since those blinds use Bluetooth to connect. So to connect via Wi-Fi, just tap Soma Connect and connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Then add the connect into HomeKit using the pairing code in the manual. Now once you get the connect added to HomeKit, all the blinds automatically appear in your home app. You can then open or close each one right in HomeKit. I grouped all mine together in two groups, my upper blinds and my lower blinds. That way I can kind of control them separately, but together still, if that makes sense. A couple of things to note, things that I've learned as I've been using this you know, setup for months. In HomeKit, you can open and close the blinds, but you can't control the tilt direction. They tilted down to close for me, and I actually do prefer for them to tilt up instead. So you can get a few more options if you have a HomeKit scene created. Uh, so what you do is you tap on the options in the Smart Shades app, and then tap HomeKit scenes, you can see here you get some custom functionality like morning mode and close upwards. So for example, I have this privacy mode scene that closes all the blinds and then I get some custom functionality for each device in that scene, including that morning mode and close upwards. And I can just turn on close upwards on all the blinds in that scene. Now when I run that scene through automations or whatever, they will all actually close upwards, which is what I want. And similarly, the morning mode is another option. In my let there be light scene, which opens all the blinds, I've enabled morning mode on all of them. So morning mode makes the motor move much slower, therefore much quieter. So probably the biggest update to the Soma Tilt 2 is that they are noticeably faster than the previous version, which I found was a little bit slow. So I do love how much faster this new version is, but you can hear them, you know, especially if you're running eight of them, you know, in the same room all at the same time. So morning mode will slow them down a lot and make them drastically quieter. So this is a scene that I've automated each morning to open all those blinds. It comes on real slow, so it's not as noticeable. 
With that said, let's talk about my automations. As mentioned, I do have them set to open every morning at about 8 a.m. And then I have another automation set for them all to close every night at sunset. I love this one. This is great using HomeKit because the times for sunset changes throughout the year and the automation will just happen automatically at sunset, you know, regardless of what time that is during the year. This is one of those moments where I'm just, you know, sitting around in my living room and all of a sudden all my blinds just start closing automatically. That's one of the coolest things for me in my smart home, I think. You know, before I'd have to actually get up off of the couch and then walk around and close every one of these blinds manually. I know it's rough, but good smart home automations should make life easier and better. And this is definitely one of those automations, not to mention those blinds that are way up high before I either didn't have any window coverings at all, or I could never open them. So now the ability to open and close those way up high, let in some natural light, just it's a game changer. Now I also made another automation that closes all of the blinds if the temperature in the living room gets too hot. So this is another great one for us because we get some serious afternoon sun that can really heat up the house in the summertime, especially from those windows up high. So a simple automation that closes all the blinds and even turns on some of my fans, you know, throughout the house when it gets too hot is perfect for summertime. On top of that, you can have them all open or close when you arrive home or when you leave or do any other number of automations with your accessories thanks to HomeKit. Now one thing that was important to me when setting all this up was having some type of physical controller so people could just push a button or a switch to open and close the blinds, you know, family members, guests, or whoever. And thanks to that HomeKit integration, I'm able to use a little flick button here that just simply opens and closes the blinds, making it super easy for anyone to control them. I did a full video on these little flick buttons. You know, I'll link that below in case you want to check that out also. So this is one of those projects that, you know, honestly, I wasn't really 100% sure how it would turn out. You know, having this many Bluetooth devices connecting to that Soma Tilt hub that's not even officially HomeKit certified. Would they work? Would this even be usable? But overall, I can say that I'm very happy with this outcome and I, just, and I love having them. Now, that's not to say it's been perfect. Occasionally, I'll use my smart button or run a scene and all of the blinds, except for maybe one of them will open or close. And, you know, for some reason, that one just doesn't get the message. Uh, I can then usually just run the scene or push the button again and it'll close that last one. So weird things like that do happen sometimes. You know, on top of that, I have gotten the dreaded no response error in HomeKit a few times here and there. You know, usually when that happens, just unplugging the Soma Tilt, wait a few minutes and plug it back in will fix the issue. It doesn't happen a lot, but it has happened. So I'm just telling you about it. So I have been using my Soma Connect, uh, connected over Wi-Fi. I may try to find a, a good way and location where I can actually hardwire it into my router and it still be in Bluetooth range of all those shades and see if maybe that's a little bit more reliable. But again, it does work most of the time and my automations and everything usually do work pretty well. So that big old motor again is less than ideal, but by reversing my blinds, I'm able to hide it and I'm totally okay with this as sort of a retrofit solution for my existing blinds. And my wife let me do this in probably the most used space in our house. So I guess you can say that it is wife approved. I can tell you, I wouldn't have even tried it if I had to have that big old motor mounted on the outside of every single window in there. Uh, she definitely wouldn't have let that one fly. But we made it work and we've been using it every day and loving it. Like I said, it's not perfect, but automating all of these blinds has been honestly one of my favorite things that I've done in the house. Again, I'll put links to everything in the description below. I've also been testing out some of the Lutron roller shades on my bedroom windows. So they're a little bit different, you know, than the tilt blinds. And that video will be coming very soon also. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss that one. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget about today's sponsor, Paperlike. Check out that link below. 
Once again, I'm Shane and we're publishing new HomeKit smart home videos every Sunday right here. Hit the join button below if you want to support this channel even further by becoming a channel member and get perks like behind the scenes, early access to new videos, and access to our members only Discord community. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see y'all later.